Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. F.A. Chess. Frank first stand up. What it is, what it do. Frank foot crew. Sports, weather, and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week is College Go Week. Student services will be doing trivia each morning. Students can come down to student services with their answers written on a piece of paper. Correct answers will be put into a drawing. Then one student or staff will be chosen to come down and choose some college swag. Today's question is what Indiana college did David Letterman attend? Here is a hint. Mr. Hutton, make sure you follow all instructions. You must send in the answers to the question to student services. Mr. Hutton also had the wrong answer. I quite honestly expected him to get it wrong, though. There will be a doghouse meeting today during homeroom in the cafeteria. Today is the last day to sign up for college fair. You must go if you want to graduate. Sign up now. You should check out K9 Corner with the host being J. Ray, and he will be interviewing Cormac Jewell. Now for everyone's favorite segment with Brody and Damaris. Make sure you send in questions so Lizzo stops making them. Today's question is, what's your favorite memory of us? Now sending it to Brody and Damaris. What's up guys, I'm here with Brody and Damaris. And the question of the day is, what's your favorite memory with us? Brody, what's your favorite memory with us? My favorite memory for guys is, being on an awesome mission for my girlfriend to me, I was like, say hi, I love you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he likes to be on the announcements. That's that's a pretty good memory. What about you, what about you Damaris? What's your favorite What's your favorite memory with us? Do you have a favorite memory, or do you like Or do you like all the times we spent together? <laughs> she's, she's speechless. She can't think of a memory, but that'll be all. <laughs> and send it back to your host. That's a spicy new couple. Now sitting it to build Billa for sports. Thanks, Farley. Just in from our boys' tennis match, the Hot Dogs defeated the Broncos 4-1. The team did a great job of being aware of ball play and taking advantage of moments during each match play. One doubles Isai Jimenez and Charlie Beardsley made quick work for, of their matches, winning 6-2 and 6-1. At two doubles, Landon Stewart and Zach Kurth won their matches 6-2 and 6-3. Zach and Landon found themselves behind in both sets and did not give up and continued to figure out their opponent for the win. At two singles, Kelby Santos had his hands full with a very aggressive and strong player from Jeff. Kelby did drop his first set, but Kelby's grit to find a way to win pays off again. As he went on and defeat his opponent, Jack Michaels adjusting and to playing singles and shown how much improvement. Jack Michael won his matches 6-1 to one and 6-3. to three. Yondale Santos played his first official match and kept fighting to win his match in a tie break. Their next match is at North Montgomery at 5.30 p.m. In other news, we finally got our volleyball results from September 14th. The varsity volleyball team played in the Hornet invite on Saturday and placed fourth of 12 teams. The team played strong in pool play and came out flat in the championship bracket, leaving them with 2-2 two two after a week and had the Dogs playing seven matches. Jalen Smith had 57 assists and 11 kills on the day. Lily Rockhold had 31 kills and 23 digs. Offensively, Ella McAtee had six kills and Justine Thomas had eight kills. The middle blockers had an excellent day with Chloe Mowdy tallying seven kills and two blocks, and Addie Keck having three blocks and five kills. Car Caroline Queen led in digs with 39. Morgan Harrington picked up 24 digs. Ashley Zhang had 14 digs, and Daisy Santos Valdez had three digs. The team is 15 to five and ready to travel to Sheridan next Tuesday night. That's all for volleyball, but for today, we have several games. We have boys tennis away against North Montgomery, boys soccer away against Southmont, and last but not least, girls soccer at home against 
West Lafayette. Be sure to come out and support them as they take on the Red Devils. That's all for sports. Now sending it to Jaden with weather. Thanks, Alyssa, and good morning, doggies. And this morning coming in, it was 55 and winds at 4 miles per hour with partly cloudy. The high today will be 86 and the low will be 51. And RJ, I like your shirt, by the way. Well, that will be all from me, dogs, and I'll send it back to your host. This Jaden, thanks. You know, your shirt looks pretty good, too. Another day, another good-looking shirt on a good-looking dude. Anyways, I have breaking news. In the making. Have you ever wondered what it'd feel like to get hit by a car? Well, no need to wonder now, because Owen Hudson already knows. Around 2.56 yesterday afternoon, Owen was walking to his car, then bang! A gray truck hit the man. <laughs> if you see him today in the hallway, make sure he's all right. <laughs> in other news, for today's lunch in lines one and two, cheeseburger, and in lines three and four, we have pepperoni Bosco sticks. Now, finally, for birthdays, we got Phoenix Martinez Dickinson, Nicole Mendoza, Valeria Santos, and the rest are nobodies. That is all for the announcement stocks. Y'all have a great day.